prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Buksan ang aming puso, turuan mong mag-alam sa bawat pagluluhulo, lahat ay In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we begin this Holy Mass, let us admit that we are all sinners in need of God's forgiveness. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, look with compassion on our weakness and ensure us your protection by stretching forth the right hand of your majesty through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Then the Lord will guide you always, 
and give you plenty, even on the parched land. He will renew your strength, and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. The ancient ruins shall be rebuilt for your sake, and the foundations from ages past you shall raise up. Repairer of the breach, they shall call you restorer of ruined homesteads. If you hold back your foot on the Sabbath from following your own pursuits on my holy day, if you call Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holy day honorable, if you honor it by not following your ways, seeking your own interests, or speaking with malice, then you shall delight in the Lord, and I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will nourish you with the heritage of Jacob, your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me, for I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my pleading. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Please all stand. Sinabi ng buong mahal, di ko nais na mamatay ang mga makasalanan. Nagbabagong kalooban upang sinay na The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house, and a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at table with them. The Pharisees and the scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered, Jesus said to them in reply, those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, to the scribes and Pharisees who were criticizing Jesus 
for eating with sinners, Jesus said, Those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. By saying this, Jesus likens himself to a physician, to a doctor, whose mission is to heal. And by saying this, Jesus also means that in order to be healed, one has to admit that one is sick. In order to be forgiven, one has to admit that one has sinned. Kung hindi aaminin na may nararamdaman sa katawan, hindi pupunta sa doktor para tanungin, may sakit ba ako? Paano akong gagaling? At kung hindi rin aaminin na may kasalanan ng nagawa, hindi rin hihingi ng kapatawaran. Admission is important in order to be healed and to be forgiven. In our catechism, this is called contrition. Contrition is the humble admission of one's sins. Pagtitika, ibig sabihin, inaamin ko na may nagawa akong kasalanan. And contrition is important because according to our catechism, it is the first act of the penitent. Contrition is what drives us to go to confession. Dahil alam kong ako'y nagkasala, kaya hihingi ako ng tawad. Kaya mahalaga yung pag-amin na ako'y nagkasala. Pag-amin na meron akong nagawang hindi tama at kailangan kong humingi ng kapatawaran. Kasi kung ang kasalanan hindi aaminin, paano patatawarin? Kung ang isang tao humihingi ng tawad sa kasalanang ayaw namang aminin, paanong patatawarin? Kapag may lumapit sa inyo na nakagawa sa inyo ng hindi tama at sasabihin sa inyo, patawarin mo na ako, tatanungin natin, saan, ka ba kita, saan ba kita patatawarin? May nagawa ka bang masama sa akin? Sasabihin niya, wala. Pero patawarin mo lang ako. Pwede ba yun? Contrition is important because contrition is the first step to healing and forgiveness. We have to admit that we have sinned in order to receive forgiveness. But contrition is only one part Admission of one's sins is only one part. The other part is the resolve not to sin again. That completes the picture of contrition. Contrition is not just the humble admission that I have sinned. Contrition is also my resolve not to to sin again. And this is hinted in our first reading today where God asks us, even begs us, to remove from our midst sin, oppression, anything that we do against our neighbors and replace them with good deeds. Ang pagsisisi sa kasalanan, hindi lamang yung inaamin ko na may kasalanan ako. Ang tunay na pagsisisi sa kasalanan 
ay may kasamang pangako na hindi ko na ulit gagawin ito. And the sincerity of our contrition lies in that resolve not to commit the sin again. Kapag may humingi ng tawad sa atin at sasabihin niya, baka magawa ko ulit sa iyo, mapapatawad ba? Kaya yung mga bata, kapag may nagawang hindi tama, sasabihin natin, wag mo nang uulitin yan. Yung nagsosori, hindi lamang inaamin ng kasalanan, kundi nangangako din na susubukang wag nang gawin ulit. Kapag sinabi sa atin, edi eh pag nagawa ko, patawarin mo na lang ulit ako. Ano kaya ang mararamdaman natin? My dear brothers and sisters, this Lenten season, God gives us the opportunity to examine ourselves, to admit the many sins that we have committed, and to go to confession to ask for His forgiveness. There is nothing wrong in admitting that we are sick and that we have sinned. Walang mali sa pag-amin na tayo'y nagkasala at nakagawa ng mali. Mas mali yung magpanggap na hindi tayo nagkakasala at hindi tayo nangangailangan ng kapatawaran ng Diyos. There is nothing wrong in being humble and admitting our sins before God. For after all, that is the reason why Jesus came. Jesus came precisely for you, for sinners, for healing, for forgiveness of sins, and for salvation. Please all stand. Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit, aware of His call, let us bring our prayers to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may peace prevail among the nations of the world through the mercy that they show to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That unity may grow in our nation through the citizens' respect for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the dead, may experience the saving power of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to implore the intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Fatima, and St. John Paul II for peace in the world, especially between Ukraine and Russia. We also pray for our own intentions and for the people who need our prayers. We also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, this season of Lent, even as we seek righteousness, keep us from self-righteousness. As we look forward to the Savior for mercy, may we participate in His saving action 
by forgiving those we ha who have sinned against us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise. And grant that cleansed by its working, we may offer minds well pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Nourished with the gift of heavenly life, we pray, O Lord, that what remains for us a mystery in this present life may be for us a help to reach eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Abide graciously, O Lord, with your people who have touched the sacred mysteries, that no dangers may bring affliction to those who trust in you, their protector, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Santa Maria, Reina ng Sanlibutan, Nakatanod sa krus ni Yeso Cristo, Panginoon, Tigib ng Thank you.